Hello, Terrence. Hey, it's good to be bu- it's good to be back on your show. Oh wait, I just wanted to bring up some fun fodder while it's hot, and this was just a, a random uh thing on Twitter that sparked promotion. It is uh, it says Zack Snyder Zeus versus MCU Zeus. They legit made him a joke, and my first thoughts were, well, it's interpretation. You can do what you want, though you can argue about the comic book version, whatever. The yeah. only kind of fumble I see is when people try to say what's more his most more uh accurate to Greek mythology, I feel like people just don't know at all. Like even my yeah. basic knowledge, people don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a no. lot of the stuff that they talk about oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of the stuff they talk about as being accurate or inaccurate. I'm like, that's the issue. We don't. Greek mythology is self contradictory. You can't say something's more accurate to the legends because there were thousands of different legends all being told at the same time. Now, go ahead. We can talk about which one is more common to the myths, but not which one is quote unquote more accurate. That That's actually a really great point. You can't really say uh, accurate, but more. Maybe the word could be consistent. Now, if we're talking just physical again, uh, mm-hmm. my knowledge of Greek mythology is based, but pretty much any mythology, you will only get like scraps of detail about physical appearance. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing then, this is. I don't think the Snyder fans are going to like this a lot. Like, when it comes to the facial appearance, yeah, when it comes to the facial appearance, MCU Zeus is more accurate when it comes to the face because most of the depictions of Zeus in statues and in mythology, he was the, this old, he did have a old, weary face with long, curly hair and a long, curly beard. So the MCU Zeus, the quote-unquote joke, is more accurate to what his face would look like. Which is, I always found that weird, though, that they made, that all the statues had Zeus, the oldest looking god, when Zeus was actually the youngest of the three brothers. Yes, yeah, though so technically they both have beards. Though he yeah, is, yeah. But what I would say from what I could find is a description of curly hair. And on that, mm-hmm. I would say, would be more towards uh, MCU Zeus. Oh, yeah. Because this other guy just kind of has a more flat, straight, short hair, which, yeah. again, this is supposed to have those long, curly locks. Yes. <laughs> Though, in kind of beards, as far as I can tell, like, like, say, you have statues, but mm-hmm. even those are just interpretations of someone's view of Greek mythology, right? Yeah, someone's I, view of Greek I mythology. Find, because... I couldn't find said he had a beard. Yeah, like, there's not really a lot of myths about what his face will look like, which which makes sense. Like, the Greek gods would, would they wouldn't, they wouldn't care about what their god looked like. So he would, like, look, look, he's a god, just think of a really old, dignified king, there you go. Which is why a lot of people believe that the statues are actually based on what their kings would look like. Mm-hmm. If, like, if I were to give an idea of what I would think, just based on what I know. At best, you could say probably uh, looks young at all points, Mm -hmm. and probably peak human build. That's the most... Yeah, I would would say like... Yeah, yeah, I would say like an old face but a young body. So I will give Snyder... Oh... I'm going to have to give Snyder the point there when it comes to the body. The body does look peak human, so there's that. Mm. But then we come to the other problem, which a lot of people are ignoring. Mm -hmm. MCU Zeus is actually wearing armor, which... (laughs) Yes. Assuming... (laughs) Yeah, assuming that Zeus is holding counsel, yeah, he wouldn't just be freaking flat... He wouldn't just be bare-chested in the middle of a war or in the middle of a war council. He would be wearing his armor. 
So again, MCU Zeus gets the point there. You had to get the Zeus point there as well. Though, I will at least say, from what I remember of that character in DC Comics, I'm fairly sure that's more accurate to what that comic book guy looked like. So at yeah. Least, at least give him that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, the MCU version, the MCU version does look more accurate to how both the comics look like. Like, it, the armor does, but the DCU version does look pretty cool. I will give, like, all points to Snyder, he does know how to make somebody look cool in a show. Oh, yeah. Put that oil on him. Any, anybody look good with a little oil on him. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> now, I would say physical, aside from the Zeus looking old, is probably both are o- okay in terms yeah. of um and uh, how you want to interpret, I would say. Yeah. yeah, both of them are fine. These are both completely valid interpretations yeah. of what Zeus might look like. No. There's no wrong go ahead. answer. As long as he... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I do something I'm not going to do. I notice people use the phrase historically accurate. I don't yeah. think you use historically when talking about mythology. Or am I, yeah, you am I nitpicking? No, no, I agree. Like... As I've said before, as I've mentioned many, many times, there is no proper history when it comes to mythology. Yes. For example, like a lot of people, a lot of people claim that. Um, can I can I use another mythology as an example, sure, real quick? Sure. So a lot of people claim that um, historically, Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table wouldn't use plate armor because they're supposed to be from the 10th century. And I'm like. Yeah, but then you're but then it's mythology. It's a story. It's a story that's been retold and retold and retold, at, adapting each time. There's no such thing as historical here. These are fairy tales. Yes, yeah, the, the, this is a fictional story. There is no exactly. historical accuracy to any of this. Exactly. You can't these because these legends full on never happened. If you want to argue that historically they would look like this, then you'd have to look at the Trojan War and Everything we know about the Trojan War would be wrong because Mycenaean, the Mycenaean Greeks wouldn't even have bronze, bronze and iron, wouldn't even have iron weapons at this point. So the entire Trojan War is just wrong. Exactly. Exactly. Now, I guess um, another point would be is uh, personality. Now, I don't think the Zeus and Snyderverse was shown too much, but. If I was to guess, they, he's definitely more of the uh, powerful warrior type, and uh, I would say Snyder. Well, and I would say I'm going to mess with name, but Titi what Tiki, MCU is uh yeah. probably more of the the mean Zeus kind of kind of character they're going for. Yeah, which again, both are com- the Snyder cut really doesn't show a lot of Zeus's personality because he's just sitting there in the middle of battle. He doesn't even have any lines. He's just roaring and shooting lightning bolts. Yeah, he's just a With, background character. Yeah, he's basically just a background character. Yeah. Like, he just roars, shoots some lightning bolts, stops the unity by shooting more lightning bolts at the mother boxes, and mm-hmm. leaves. Yeah. He's not really a character, so I can't really argue can't anything. Really but judge him. Yeah. From what we see of the Tahiti Coats, um, Zeus, he's more of the arrogant douchebag that we see in the Titanomachia and the Gigantomachia and the oh wow I could literally sit here and list every single time Zeus was an arrogant douchebag but we'd be here all day yes and that's let's just say it's go ahead yeah let, let's just say it's a consistent character trait of Zeus being like oh I'm the king of God so no one can whoop my ass therefore yes, I'm I, the shit yes a very least in- extraordinarily arrogant character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Though, I know someone said that he's more closer to somebody's drunk uncle, which I thought was funny. That is. But then I looked up, we're like, wait, can God drink alcohol? I have no idea. Yes, yeah, they have a whole god of alcohol, Dionysius Dionysus. I, I never know how to pronounce his name. So I was looking that up and like, wait, because I remember there was some story like they technically can't eat human food, but then again, there's no, like, say, consistency. You don't need to 
no need to worry about the small things. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Look, all you gotta know about the gods is they're very they're stronger than humans and they do whatever they want. And we can't check them because they're stronger no. than us. Ah, right, good old right. Go ahead. <clears throat> I was just saying, ah, good old Mike Mike's right. Yes. But I will but I will say there's probably a little bit more to to gods than what they're some summed up mean versus like they're generally for the most part supposed to be seen as heroic wise and Zeus at least supposed to be a guy that fights for justice. Yeah. Like we make jokes about the about the gods being jerks, but they do make but they do have a set of standards that they obey. Zeus for in particular is very, very serious about sacred hospitality. Crossing the rules of sacred hospitality is a good way to cross Zeus himself. Mm-hmm. He is he also he also believes that in not breaking oaths, which is why Gaia supported him in the Titanomachia because he fulfilled his oath of releasing the hundred handed ones and the first generation Cyclopses. So if Zeus makes a promise, he'll keep it. Yes. So in a way, you can kind of look at uh, Greek gods as like the mafia. It's like. Mm-hmm. They're going to do some scumbag stuff. And they're criminals, but there is a code of honor to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And besides, which is what makes them better than the Titans, who, you know, did not have that code of honor. If a, a Titans would break their promises, they would eat people, they would betray each other. At least the Greek gods had standards. They had, they had lines that they would not cross. Yes, the people you can put them as say yeah. in in that sense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Was there anything else I need to saw? Nothing else really, though. I will admit that um, one more th- one more thing I admire is that in the MCU one, mm-hmm. you can actually see Zeus's symbol on his armor, the his golden eagle. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice little detail. Well, that's basically who I wanted to cover was when I saw that. But more or less, yeah, I think it comes down to it, its interpretation. You can more or less do what you want. Yeah, as long as the core parts of the character remain exactly. intact, there's plenty of interpretations. Heck, I'd even say Disney's interpretation of Zeus as a kind, loving, and wise father is a perfectly valid interpretation. I mean, it's not my interpretation, but it's a valid one. Yes, because it is, at the very least, a part of the Zeus mythos, of that, that part of his character that's not necessarily seen a lot. It's not seen a lot, but it happens. Yes. And yeah, it, even if... Val- go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I was just agreeing with you. Oh, yeah. I say, even if you think it's completely not then it's also connected then as well then you flipped it on his head pretty much mm-hmm. and then like oh that's a inter- another sort of opposite interpretation of that thing so mm-hmm. that it works that way as well yep and space was saying it's all okay yeah it's, it's all, okay. all okay though it's all... even then i could also see someone that would say would like the more sort of a uh, MCU Thor, I mean MCU Zeus, would probably say something about, say, Hades being evil in the story. Because, yeah. Because they still, cause again, that's the, that's the memeified version of Hades now, that he's sort of the loving father good guy. Yeah, yeah. Which, he's, a, he's a lot, Hades isn't black and black and white, or either one or the other. While he is a while he is more decent than the other Greek gods, he was still he still did some really messed up stuff. Like you would argue he only did messed up stuff to people who crossed him, but the man did not know what restraint is. This is a guy who chained to get people to chairs and sick the furies on them forever. Yeah. This is a guy who in one version of Asclepius' myth, when Zeus told Zeus, hey, either you check 
Asclepius, or I'm going to destroy the entire city and get into a fight with Apollo, which would have been bad. <laughs> it would have been bad probably for the universe if, they, if, like, two guys actually went at it like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially Hades, who, as we've previously established, is equal in power to Zeus himself. So, yeah. so that would be bad. So, mm. yeah. So, yeah. basically, like I say, it, it's mm-hmm. all fine, people. It's, mm-hmm. it's, as long as you keep somewhat of the core of the knowledge, then it's all acceptable. And we, But we exactly. can think some are better than others, but still, enjoy mm-hmm. all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I did this for two reasons. One, because I wanted to get at Twitter, because I think it's a wretched hive of scum and villainy. <laughs> two, Agreed. because... I think it's good practice for, like I said, my idea of a uh, mythology versus, because I do like want to get us something where we talk about uh, Zeus from from a uh, God of War, Zeus mm-hmm. from Disney, and Zeus mm-hmm. from the Legend of Hercules, and I want to compare those three. Oh, the the Legend of Hercules, the the series starring um... Kevin Sobo. Yeah, the Kevin Sorbo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. That would be dope. Yeah, that would be so. That's mainly what I wanted to do, is just practice for that. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm still excited for that. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I hope all of you are, too. Oh, yeah. Though I'm not sure if I should do Disney's movie Zeus, cartoon Zeus, or both. Just put them in one. Because cartoon we- Zeus does the... The animated Hercules, Zeus from a while mm-hmm. back, that is like the prequel Smallville version mm-hmm. of a uh, this is Hercules it does have a little bit more background. It does, and for those of you continuity nerds who are like who are asking, wait, but doesn't a lot of the show contradict the movie? Yes, like we <laughs> said, the legends contradict each other. Yes, don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, this has been good. Thank you. But oh yeah, bring up your book. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, my book is out on Amazon: The Twenty First Century Guide to Mythology by Terrence Andrews. Volume one, Greek mythology, is already out on Amazon, and Volume two, Arthurian mythology, starring everyone's boy King Arthur, is actually going to be released later on this year. Wonderful. And yeah. I, I've checked the reviews. It's all going reviews from what I can find. Thank you. And knowing you, uh, I'm, you'll bring your check my personality and style is great. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, you. I can't with you again. <laughs> All right. Later, everyone. All right.